Ok. Yeah, a little bit too much space on our vocals here. And it less. More of a mono delay. But while I'm here, I'm just gonna go dip this, uh, this, um, the P there. Too much. Draw it out. So it's, you know, I just go through stuff like this and make it a bit like Long Ah, yeah. Yeah, so let's work on this guitar a bit. So, console one, I'm gonna put that Neve comp. Um, go. Class A is the Neve. So another thing I'll do, this will be useful, I think. I'll do my the C6 bus. Um, I should have this saved somewhere, but oops. Um, six. Just so my um my vocals, so I can bring things up around my vocals and they don't get lost. Um. Okay. Open up the setting here. Boom. Load preset. Do a D6. Um, activate sidechain here in the space. Um, I might have more sends or verbs or effects, so I'll just do it from the bottom out here. So I can pretty much send everything to this, except maybe the backs. Hmm, we'll see. I might not want them to, like, they might have a hard time. Um, Cutting. Yeah, what the hell? So if I if if they're not cutting, then I don't want to like have the focus. Now the cool thing about this is I can take the vocals down. See if I image this a bit. Uh, curious if I move the rooms open if I open them up. No stereo expander, other mono. Huh? Fuck it. Um, discard. Yeah, maybe I should send the rooms to in uh, the C6 because I was feeling they were popping out all of a sudden too much. Everything was getting pushed back except the rooms, and it made it made it that I could hear like more room. And that felt like it pushed the guitar back. I feel like I could almost go and get. Hmm, let's see the speaker. I, I sort of a. Uh, yeah, like a shit mic. In here. Uh, motherfucker. Fucking annoying when this does it. I can't type. It won't like it asks me to put in my email, but I can't like type it in uh -huh. because the keyboard doesn't activate it. 
something weird. It just like uses my shortcuts in the software. Eat a the wall, bark at the dog. The heck is this? Let's see if this could do anything. something else Bass is popping out here and there. Um, trying to think, trying to see what I could put on to keep it in control, but not. Uh... So uh, one thing I can do right now is add in this, uh, um, the uh, alpha map. I can get, like, I can nasty up the sound a little, like, pretty quick with this. Like, make it louder and bigger. Oh, shit, I got this. Okay. I'll do something. I'll run the rooms into their own bus. Um.
Send these to the C6. And then I'll drag and draw. I'll do the same thing with the snare. The snare will just duck the rooms a little bit because it's very roomy, the snare drum, and I'd like to control it a bit more. So what I could do is use the snare sample since I don't want the track to be like ducking it all the time because there's much more than snare in the overhead. Don't don't I sort of want to image, um, hmm. I could do, oops, I could do a stereo track for Uh, overhead. I keep calling it snare. It's overhead, not snare. Drop this here. This track. Oh yeah, I should drag and drop my. Uh... Oh no. Not on that. A bit of imaging. Bus. Kick. You know what? Don't need to. We don't need to put this through the C6. The kick and just go straight to the output. I mean, like we wanted. Don't don't so. What I might Right. Add some bottom end to this, but like dynamic bottom end. So I might treat this track separately um, for the tambourine, and then when the vocals come in, do like another mix. Just because like I'll be able to push the tambourine out, and as soon as the backs come in, like it's not as necessary for the, you know, 
Like, I mean, the tambourine, like, we don't have to focus on it as much. So yeah, to, uh, gonna cut some info from the right side. Won't need to. MS. Oh no, left, right, left, right. We're gonna go right. I pass. <laughs> So we're going to swap this to T-A-M-B, Amb. make this yellow for perks. So up to now. I want to EQ out that one frequency, the, the super high, I, I can't do the pitch. Just take to bring out the rest of the like jingles. Push out a few frequencies from the electric guitar that we're not getting enough of. First of all, I'll just put the. But I'm, I'm, I'm thinking maybe a 560. Because the 560 is a bit creamier, I find. It's a bit chunkier. And then go dip a bit of like the at frequency. Just to like increase the proximity on it. Like this pull tech will like make it a bit more present as well. Just for distance. So, verbs, sure. Manny. I'm like not super down with the Abbey Road right now. Like, right as hell. Hmm. Just chill out, whatever's going in, in it. Oh.
want to get like a nice smooth comp. Get the red comp from a uh, virtual mix rack. I don't know what it is. Mike's crackling a bit. I know. I don't know what the heck it is. I think uh, all the channels, all the lines were like not hot at all. So I don't think. Uh, I doubt that this was a uh, preamp. I might cut these mics just because once they're going to come in the box. Uh, uh, no, it's actually cool with the bleed. It, it sort of fills out. This is a little bit uh, harsh. Here, a lot of ducking. Okay, so I'll keep going on this later. That's it for now.